Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. In today's video, we will discuss about the basics about transportation management. In our day-to-day -day support project or implementation project, we might need to, or it's required to create transports because we need to do the transportation from development to quality and quality to production. So we, should, we, should, we must know some basics about uh, TRs and the relevant tables associated with that TRs. In some cases, we might get some issues related to some objects like the object might be a custom program or a config change, a smart form output changes, anything. In that cases, if you want to filter out the TRs, recent TRs moved to production, which might cause this issue. In that case also, it might require to have some knowledge about these tables and T code as well. And now let's get started. The first T code that I'm going to discuss is that SC01. SC01, not down this. So in SC01, we can create the transport as a workbench tier or customizing tier. Customizing tier mostly used for config changes only, SPR config changes. And the workbench tiers, all are ABAP related objects, smart form, driver program, function model, class, body, methods, implicit enhancement, everything. And uh, even the access sequence, the condition table, those also will be saved in the workbench request only because those are all cross client. Cross client in the sense, if you save the object in one client, in one system, then it will automatically reflect in the other client in the same system. So this is how we should create that object and we should give that a description like uh, a uh, new access sequence and uh, we should mention so when we work on any work on any support projects then uh, it's uh, we should always mention the ticket details here in the description of the tier for example it might be task 00003567 something okay and save this so this is the tier that has been created now okay now let's see which table we can see this tier information now there is a one table called uh, let me go to sc 16n and the table is e070 use and here we should give the username so my system username is common i will execute and you see, this is the two TRs as of now available. Right? And these are the two TRs which are available and this, this has been currently used now. And coming to this TR, these are TR just created now, but uh, there is no object stored into this TR. That's why we don't see this TR here. Okay? And this is the TR number column, and this is a task. Let me tell you here. So this is the TR. Under one TR, we can have n number of task. This is a task. TR number, task number. So this is that main engine. TR is a main engine, and task is that carriers in the truck, something like that. This is the main truck. And the main trick can contain n number of carriers here. Okay, so when we try to release the main TR, first we should release the subtask only. Okay, select this uh, task, and if you see the symbol here to release, right? Release now, it hasn't released. Now we can release the main TR, select the main TR and release it. So first task should be released, then only the main tier can be released. Right? 
and if you see dikmar has been enabled for the tr and task that means both has been released now that's one thing and and we have some other t uh, t codes like uh, just now we, we saw that sc01 right so we have sc09 sc09 so the here also we can get the same tr right and sc03 sc03 is a transport organizer so this is a tool which can be used to find out the list of uh, trs on any specific object or uh, if you know the object then we can get the list of uh, trs relevant for that object anything we can do here okay and we have one more sc10 so sc01 sc09 sc10 in those three transaction codes we can create the trs in sc03 we can explore the list of objects relevant for any ob any tr or get the list of trs for relevant any objects anything we can do in the organizer okay now let me go through the some of the tables okay the important table that i i will request you to remember is e070 ctv suppose you don't know the list of trs for that task so you have the ticket number with you okay and you don't know the trs created or saved under the under the task number right then what we can do if you know the task number just add star here and the task number something like tsk and click on star so it, if any tr created with this combination it will display that you see i can see several trs created with the description having a task see task task and remember this is the tr that we have created now okay yeah so in e070 ctv table we can see we can retrieve the list of trs based on the description if you don't know the exact description you can add star beginning of the description end of the description we can get the all the relevant data which has this combination of description okay so this e070 ctv table contains the request number and the type whether it's a workbench request okay k means it's a workbench request okay request type is k means workbench request w means customizing request and uh, our status if you see the column status r means that tr has been released d means it has been it, it is allow us to modifyable that means that is not released yet r means released d means it can be modifyable the tr can be modifyable yet and he is the owner who created the tr and when when uh, uh, the release happened date and time okay that we can see here so this is one of the table and we have same table e070 so e070 also similar to e070 ctv only but the difference is in e070 ctv table we have this description field is enabled we can add input here if you go to e070 table it's grayed out so we can't search any trs based on the description in e070 table so keep that in mind and suppose so you have a list of the list of the tr with you and uh, you know you want to know what objects the tr contains so what programs smart forms the tr is holding okay the table now is e071 and i see this is a table and if you execute this and you see the objects containing yeah you see here here contains these objects so these are programs objects that we can see in the tr okay and uh, acgr means roles this is the roles assigned okay so each assignment table will list out the list of objects stored in the tr okay for example um, let me tell you one more thing here i am going to create one tvrv variable okay okay the t code is stvrv and uh, what i will do 
we'll go to the change mode select the options okay select this rd okay and uh, you see this in checkbox include change re-entries in transport request select this one and uh, go inside this one f4 okay so let me edit this one first okay let me click this pencil symbol see now this is something editable now what i will do i'll go inside i will add dummy one and click execute and save it if i if you don't select this checkbox then you won't get the prompt you don't you won't get the dialog box to save the changes for example i am unchecking this one and saving this one see i didn't get any window to save it in the tier let me do one more time change it and make it okay let me add one more entry here dummy 7 f8 and let me select this one now include changed entries in transport request okay select this one and save now see now it is asking for tr to enter now here right yeah so you can take this tr now and you can save click on ok now it means this checkbox enablement will help you to save the changes in the tier if you don't check this one changes won't be saved in the tier click ok okay now if i go to that e on one table if i give the tr and execute okay i think this tr not released okay let me release the task now go to sc09 r3 r1 sorry uh, one sc01 or sc0 10 or sc09 let me go to sc01 and uh, no not here let me go to sc09 and you see the one icon is the red display individually click this and give the tr here and click on enter okay now i will release the task now first we should release the task without releasing task if it is the main tr means system won't allow you you see the message now it's saying that referencing task eh7k 907847 not yet released first we should release this release it okay let it let it release now okay it is taking some time let it take okay so once it is released then only i can see the tr in this table easier on one okay it released now let me try now okay now you see here let me four six yeah so for example okay if you see here i did some config changes in this tier now okay but here you can see only the tables only t184 item cutting determination table right tvakz right that uh, that plant uh, and uh, as another plant distribution channel to sales are that table right tvr we see tvr we see here right and tvasp tvcpa this is another copy controls related one right and this is the sales document type controls right so here we can see the tables only but it is not displaying here what has been changed inside this object here right see here is saying tvr variable change has been done but what has been changed inside the tvs variable that it is not showing here right yes to see that we have one more table that is e071k remember okay here you can give the tr execute now yeah okay let me give that object name as tvarvc here you can give tvarvc execute mm, you see here i have changed values to the object I mean the TVR is variable RD, right? I have added, I have added a few entries, right? dummy one, dummy seven, right? Yeah, that's why I see three records here. And uh, similar way, if I remove this, yeah, you see in the T184 item category table, I did these changes now, right? So each is on one K table used to display the content of the customizing objects. Remember that each on one k table will be used to display the content of the customizing objects only, like a table changes, TVRVC changes, like that. 
okay and if in this moreover in that uh, task also we can see what has been changed and you can see the tvr we see here also i can see that same information but if you have those hundreds of tiers are there and you can't open every tr in this sc09 t code to see what it the object contain here right you can simply use the table e0 sound monkey that's one thing and uh, if after creating the tr if you would like to change that uh, description of the tr that is also possible okay just uh, go to change mode and add the description test something and you can save it so description can be saved so, this, so system will allow us to change the description until unless the tr the main tr getting released once that is released then system won't allow us to edit the description as of now this tr is not released yet that's why it allow it is allowing us to change the description and it will allow us to change the owner also you see one symbol here right change owner i can change it to some other person also right anything can be possible before releasing the tr once it is released nothing can be happen on the tr and here also we can see the obvious that has been used here right so this is how we should uh, use this t codes sc01 03 09 and 010 okay and the tables you should remember let me put it in the okay uh, tables t codes right t codes sc01 sc03 sc09 sc10 tables e070ctb e070 e071k and e070 use so e070 use will be listing out the tiers user specific wise okay and if you want to explore more tables relevant for uh, tr means we can simply what we can do this one more table dd 02t let me show in the system dd 02t okay so this is a table descriptions okay just give that uh, language as english and the table as e07 star so language is english and table starting with e07 star okay if you execute so this dd02t table is the father of all the tables so this table contains all the tables data and you see e070 70a 70as 70c and uh, we have seen right e070ctv yeah so like this it display all the relevant tables and you see e070ctv right like this if you don't know the tables and if you know the starting few characters of the table means you can use this database table dd02t 2t table to retrieve all the database tables okay, remember we should give the language if you don't give the language means it will display all the languages data for example as of now i can see 40 entries right if i remove it and execute means see more than 500 entries are here it is displaying different languages right always go with english language here so it's it's good to know this information because in support project or implementation project the tr play a key role and we will be using these t codes tables to analyze different issues with help of the tr right it's good to know about this and all thanks everyone we will meet in the next video